Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and we are getting through this week. It has been a crazy week, both for me and the market. I got the, the tooth ripped out. I had a root canal that went bad for anybody out there who suffered through that, and they had to extract it. And right now I can I can tell my jaws all swelled up right here. It's just, ooh, it's tough, just like the market. But today was a better day for both my jaw and the market. We were seeing some good upward movement with some stocks, and we're gonna take a look at them, as well as Lucy getting another big boost. I tell you what, I love owning Lucid and I see big things. But before we get into all of it, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button for me. We're gonna have some fun. And I, you know what? I put out two videos a day. That's a good way to make sure you get notifications for them. I do have a link down below to Moo Moo. Big announcement for tomorrow. You're gonna wanna check out my videos for that. We have some big things coming up with Moo Moo and those watching the channel. You're gonna see about that soon, like I said, tomorrow. But they do have a way to take advantage of it today you can deposit and get up to four hundred dollars in free stocks as well as take my survey on the link click it get over there sign up deposit get in there we have the challenge we have all kinds of good things coming forward you're going to want to take advantage of this and i do have coinbase and blockfi down below get up to 250 dollars in free bitcoin with blockfi and coinbase giving you that chance to go ahead and stake ethereum and you get free bitcoin for signing up doing the email and id verification lots of good opportunities out there and the final one come over and join me at the patreon we have thousands of members we have the private discord you can see what i'm buying and selling you can hear the tesla cat you can do all kinds of fun things over there more importantly you're supporting me and that is what i greatly appreciate we're going to get into it and see what is going on with the market now and just take a look at what stocks were really affected we can see that all the indices are up that is fantastic the vix is down and then we got my main four stocks they're all winners much like my old school's football team, they're 3-0. If you're out there watching, guys, you're doing great. The squad is crushing, and I couldn't be prouder. So as we move into this, we will take a look and see that Lucid led the way today. $19.91, nice 5% day up. Tesla and DraftKings, you know, one point, I can't complain. And then, of course, Neo down there in the lows. They had some real rough times over there in the Hang Sang, so seeing this positive was good for me. I was happy to see it. Now, I wanted to get into Lucid. This is the one getting a lot of uh, companies out there, the analysts out there are finally coming out and giving their price targets on it. And we're seeing some different levels of the price target. And for those who've been following along the Lucid stock price prediction I put out there of $30 by the end of this year, I still think it has a great chance of hitting that. I think Q4 will be a good run and this stock could see a big move up. Now, with that being said, doesn't mean it's gonna happen, of course, but I, I'm hoping the positive catalyst through the fourth quarter of getting the deliveries out there, hopefully ramping up production and seeing some good things happen, and then announcing those things for 2022 and that would lead to that price popping up but we'll see we'll wait and see uh the analysts out there are putting some numbers on this as well and i'm going to cover this after i hit a few other things first which we'll we'll go over first things first rush street interactive for those who've been following along i did put this out there and i put a huge position on this uh in my portfolios over at the discord and the patreon if you haven't followed along come on over follow along you can see some of the buys i did put this out out there and uh, over the last five days up 7.42 had a great day today today was 6.20 and I, I did this based on the golden nugget online gaming how that was bought out the valuations that DraftKings which I'm a huge fan of put on GNOG and that put this at, at the time uh, about 50% from where it should be. And so we knew the upside potential. If there was ever going to be an acquisition of this company, we knew that the valuation that DraftKings gave would, would be what a lot of other companies out there would give to Rush Street Interactive. And so it doesn't mean that they were gonna get acquired, but it did show us that there was definitely an opportunity for this stock to move up. They were already doing great things themselves and they continue to do that. And I think that's why you're seeing the stock move higher than the other gambling stocks out there so i feel really good about this and as we watch uh the last month of 26.15 percent so for those that jumped in with me congratulations to me this is going to be a nice long-term uh, hold until we see how the whole gambling industry goes acquisitions and mergers of course all these other things and just the growth right now we know that there's uh, a lot of states out there that have not even legalized it yet and i think with the growth moving forward in the gambling industry around the world these companies are going to make a lot of money so i'm, I'm excited to have this one and the best thing is i still consider this thing a buy i'm looking at possibly adding on a little bit more in the 16 dollars levels uh into the 17 i think anytime i get past there i'm 
I'm going to have to wait and see how the overall industry is playing. But right now, 16 to 17 dollar levels to me are still a good opportunity. Speaking of DraftKings, now I have DraftKings in there. For those who know that I have a big position in this, I have my Golden Nugget online gaming position, which I'm going to allow to turn into more DraftKings shares out there. For those who have that wondering what I'm doing, that's what I'm going to do. I want to continue to expand my DraftKings position. I love it. I think it's going to do fantastic. I think people are absolutely getting involved. And with sports getting back, everybody's filling the stadiums. You're going to continue to see that grow. And of course, you have some people out there that were hesitant to get into the stands. COVID's still kicking up pretty big. and But we are starting to see those numbers drop. So I am hopeful that we will see more and more people take an active part in sports, getting out there and enjoying it like we used to. And as DraftKings expands across the country and the world for that matter, you will see more people taking an active part and throwing a few bucks on a game and seeing if their favorite team can win. Now, my price prediction, my DraftKings price prediction is still $80 for the end of this year. I think we can have that 25% pop, especially if we have some good numbers come out and we continue to see the, uh, the, the COVID numbers drop. We see the, their revenue ho hopefully going much higher and then sports just kicking up through the fall months into the winter. So we'll find out how that goes. But with that being said, let's get back to Lucid because my the Lucid stock price prediction I put out there was $30 by the end of this year. Now, we had a lot of things happen since those price predictions, and of course, I'm going to stick with it because I still think there's a good opportunity to see a major push up. Now, with that all being said, I'm still in it for the long term. I'm holding Lucid for the long term. I think Lucid could do some really awesome things, and seeing some of the valuations of the other companies out there, uh, especially some that are up there close to $80 billion, and I see in this one down there where it's at, mm, to me, this is screaming opportunity. So a new one came out though, uh, Bank of America did their valuation, $30 price target, loving it. Uh, matches up to mine, but they put it at 12 months where I have it in the next four. And so we'll see if this can happen. Uh, at that at that target though, even at 12 months, you are looking at a, around a 50% gain if you got in today because it's closing right around $20 a share. And I do have a really great opportunity for everyone. You're gonna wanna watch my tomorrow morning's video for a Lucid announcement, which I think you're gonna find uh, a real nice for everybody who ever wanted to own some shares of it. So this is something you're gonna wanna check out, but that's for tomorrow morning. I'll just build it up a little bit, you know, and have you come back and check that out. I'll, I'll talk about it right away in the, in the beginning of the video tomorrow. But as we move forward, you can tell that uh, Lucid is getting some love out there, but not from everyone. And so Bank of America put a $30 price target on it. And they came up with how they got their price, which is always good to know because to give you an idea when if you wanted to compare it to some of the other companies out there much like i did with the uh rush street interactive that's why i brought it up is that if you use these valuations see what how they're using them to come up with their price predictions give you a good idea if they're just pulling them out of the hat or if they have it based this one actually is based nicely on the ebitda of about 37 times the 2025 20, estimates and put it all together they talk about tesla comparing it to that and you can read this, pause it, but at the end of the day, they see some promise with Lucid. I think the technology is second to none. And the fact that you can get over 500 miles to a charge on there, it's incredible. I can't wait to see it roll out. Uh, they're not the only ones though. Citigroup gave it a really good $28 price target over the next 12 months, would, which like I said, uh, you're looking at about a 40% gain where uh, the Bank of America sees a 50% gain, but they're, they're, they're not all bullish. When I talked about this in the other video, we had Morgan Stanley come out and put a $12 price target on it over the next 12 months. So uh, we'll see how that works out. I, I did uh, talk about that in my last video and my opinion on that. And and you can take a look at the last Lucid video I did uh, and see how I went into a little bit more detail about that. At the end of the day, I do expect to see Lucid run up. You can see Bank of America. We now have three positions finally out there. So ha hats off to all three of you. And even though I don't agree with Morgan Stanley, I still like the fact that you're coming out, putting a price target out there, and we'll be watching. And don't worry, I'll be, uh, if you're right, I'll give you total props. I know what it's like out there when you put a price target out there. You can hit nine out of 10 of them. If you miss one, they're all over you. So if you're right, 
I'm going to give you props and uh, for us who have the higher price targets, if we're wrong, I get it. I get it, you know, and so we'll see. Uh, as they have it though, with three of them now, we do have a 12 month price target of 23.33. Obviously, I think this is way too low. We have an outlier in my opinion with the $12, but you never know if they're right, they could be, uh, if they're right, you can go out there and you believe them. You can go out and buy some put options. You can short sell it, which a lot of people are doing, but that's going to hopefully create a short squeeze once the good news starts coming out with the, the vehicles, the reviews, all that good stuff. And hopefully the orders start piling in as well. And that'll push that up and just Put gas on that fire so i'm excited to see how we go with this and uh, how high the stock could get over the next few years i think it has a good shot of getting up there to that 60 dollars range next year if everything goes correct and the supply chains are good COVID is under control the governments are working uh, as they should be because we know we have some issues coming up with the debt ceiling and that's a whole different video we're going to talk about but if everything goes right i think the stock could really run it up so we'll see how it goes now with all that being said, if you haven't done it, take advantage of Moomoo Moo down below. I do have this. Remember, you can get up to uh, $400 in free stocks, actually over that, because you can t hit, once you sign up using my link only, you can take a quick survey and get a free share of ELM ELMS, Electric Last Mile Solution. And of course, you can get a free share of General Motors. And if you do 2,000 or more, free stock for signing up. And they give you all kinds of good stuff, as well as the main reasons are right here. You get the access to Hong Kong Stock Exchange, which I'm going to be using moving forward the ipos zero commission all kinds of good stuff so i highly recommend that take advantage of the other links as well i do have blockfi down there get up to 250 in free bitcoin you get the interest you get the credit card opportunity where you get 3.5 percent back for the first 90 days and there's so much goodness there and then of course i do have coinbase where i'm staking over a hundred thousand dollars worth of ethereum there and they have the free bitcoin for signing up doing the email and id verification take advantage of that as well uh, both of those i, I combine all three of those take Take advantage of it. I have some other links down there where you can get some free stuff. It's a, they're giving a lot of people are giving things away, so I put them down there. Hopefully, it'll help you out. Now, like I always say, let's get out there and make some money.